A moment of silence, everyone. G4 is dead. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oh, hoy, hoy, everyone. My name is Brandon, and I post game videos on YouTube. G4 is dead. The gaming industry's biggest joke is gone. Well, to be accurate, it's being rebranded as no longer a game station, but more of a GQ men's style, modern male, whatever you want to call it. Now, I've posted my issues with the channel in the past numerous times, but today is a great day. The fundamentals of old media is on life support. They're almost done. And when I say old media, a lot of people are going to say, but Brandon, G4 is so hip and internet savvy. How are they old media? To me, G4 is an attempt by business executives trying to appeal to the lowest common denominator using gaming. It's kind of like that newfangled internet. Who uses the internet? Ah, oh, those 20 year olds, they really like women, especially when they have no knowledge. Let's throw them all up there. I honestly feel talked down to when I see men and women try to quote unquote speak geek. No one talks with a punchline every sentence. It's an issue of credibility. And we all know G4 moved on from the days of Tech TV where there was an actual attempt to try and troubleshoot computer problems. Could you imagine if G4 actually showed you what the video game industry was like? What goes through the process of developing a game, writing a game, even scripting a game, or what happens on release? That would be amazing! But you see, old media looks at gamers and works off stereotypes that we need young, attractive people in their mid-twenties. Even on YouTube, this is very true. How many channels are based off attractive women wearing practically nothing, not that I'm complaining, giving gaming related news? It's because these YouTube channels are following the old media model. And the best part of this? It's a win for quality. We no longer have to put up with women who act as eye candy and just read off a teleprompter. Gamers are normal people. We're not sex crazed Red Bull addicts. Those are people in the minority. Even the former face of G4, Kevin Pereira, agrees with me. If you look at his Reddit Ask Me Anything or the Joe Rogan podcast, he knows G4 is a joke. Here's what I hope for. Gaming needs to move away from the old media model and embrace the new media model. What is a new media model? It's based on credibility. You as a viewer, you know when someone's being disingenuous. You know when someone's lying. Enough of pushing stereotypes of geeks and this geek culture and having women who clearly have no interest in gaming. Let's get passionate people in this. Let's get an era of credibility back. In your comments below, what would you have done to save G4 years ago? As always, you're watching TYT Gaming, hosted by Brandon.